Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create this look that I have on on my face right now. I know a lot of you are working from home and you have a lot of meetings to attend via video calls, Zoom meetings and everything. And I thought this would be a perfect makeup uh, to wear when you have those days. And I kept it extremely simple. I'm barely using five or six products and I'm giving you lots of tips and tricks along the way. So I really hope you you guys enjoy this and don't forget to subscribe before we get started and let's get into it I like to start my makeup look using a primer water and this is from Smashbox. It's their photo finish primer water and I like to use this because it's very hydrating and you can skip this for any primer that you have already or you could just moisturize your skin really well before you begin doing your makeup. Next for coverage I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Honey and apply that wherever I need some coverage. Now because this is makeup for you guys to do on a video meeting I didn't want too many steps and you can just apply concealer to get the desired amount of coverage and skip foundation altogether. I like to apply it underneath my eyes and onto the center of my face wherever I think I need more coverage and you can either use a blending sponge or you can use your finger to blend it whichever is quicker for you. Because my skin is breaking out, I am actually going to use a little bit of foundation. This is the Clinique Even Better Makeup with an SPF of 15. You can totally skip this step if you think concealer is enough for you. But for me, I quite like wearing this one because I think this is like skincare and makeup mixed together and this also has an SPF. Also uh, I love the formula. The formula is very lightweight. It's light but you can build it up to a medium coverage and it makes your skin look like skin and it does not really overpower or look cakey at all and it also really helps in evening out your skin tone and um, decreasing any pigmentation that you have. So I think for an everyday basis this is a great foundation to have. Next I'm going to add some color back into the skin. I'm going to use the Sugar Stick Blush in Mauve Marvel. It's a great color for every day. I'm using a cream blush because it's so easy to apply. You can just scribble some onto your cheeks and again you can either use your blending sponge or your finger to just tap 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 and blend it all in and this literally will take you like 30 seconds or less. If you want your makeup to be done even quicker you can uh, use this cream blush as a lipstick as well and yeah it adds in like a nice color onto your lips. You can just apply it directly and blend it with your finger and it just works great um, which is why I love cream products because they're like so multi-purpose. Next I'm going to use highlighter. Again I'm using a liquid highlighter because it's very easy to blend and it also looks very skin-like. I'm going to use the Nykaa Strobin Glow Highlighter today and this is in the shade Glazed Bronze. I'm just taking a little bit onto the high points of my cheeks and also a little bit onto my eyelids and then again you can use your finger to blend it or you can again use a blending sponge to blend it. I like to use it onto my eyelids because it just adds in that nice little dimension and catches the light and it makes your eyes look wide awake and open and I like to take a little bit onto the inner corner. Also whatever's left in my uh, finger I like to apply onto my cupid's bow and on the bridge of my nose and I love liquid highlighters again because they give you like a very natural looking finish uh, without it looking like uh, you're wearing a lot of makeup. Okay so the next step is very important and I don't want you to skip this. Get an eyelash curler and curl your lashes and you can start by curling at the regular angle and then just pulling the curler up slightly so that you get this beautiful fluttery finish and this just opens up your eyes. I'm going to use one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and I am going to apply two coats of it on my upper and lower lashes and I like to start at the base and wiggle it upwards 
and once I'm done applying the mascara I like to take whatever is remaining in the wand and brush my eyebrows with it now if you think the mascara is too stark for you or too dark for you you can always use a clear mascara I just like to use the same mascara that I'm using because it just makes it very convenient and I just need one product and I get two things done lastly I'm gonna wear some lipstick I picked this lipstick from Chambord uh, this is their extreme wear transfer proof liquid lipstick in the shade 485 it's a brilliant nude for Indian skin tone and also the formula is very very long-lasting um, it's super opaque and I love I used to love this lipstick I recently rediscovered it so I thought I should use it for this video and lastly again I'm just gonna set everything using the primer water so this is the finished look I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I would love to see your recreation if you ever are in a zoom meeting and you wear this please don't forget to take a picture and share it with me on Instagram I would love to share some of your recreations over there and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I have a new video and I will see you in my next one bye